James Barrett Sterling for Mersam TV after a frustrating afternoon for Mersam here. It finished 2 0 to Binfield. Both sides really needed the three points for various reasons, but Mersam will be very disappointed this afternoon. I've been joined by Adam Allen for his uh, MTV debut. Um, Adam, would frustrating be like the optimum word to sum up this afternoon? Correct, yeah, frustrating and disappointment. Um, it was a frustrating game, tough game. Um, we didn't really get control of the game at any stage, and then the two disappointing goals to concede so yeah all round the boys know we're disappointed from where we've been over the last few weeks as well it's been like a very very high performances hard working performances to this that just wasn't good enough to be fair yeah it was uh, quite windy conditions today as well do you feel like maybe they got to grips with it a bit better than we did um yeah i wouldn't give it no excuse though because we knew from the warm-up everybody like we we discussed it from the warm-up before the game etc we discussed it from sort of set pieces where we're going to spot where we're going to play out etc so it's no excuses they got to terms better with it and they settled in the game much quicker so i mean you were playing right in the heart of that midfield today as usual one of the those energetic performances um but what we couldn't we didn't really force their goalkeeper into many saves. do you think that the ball wasn't sticking up front quite as much as it has been in recent weeks um it was a bit of both i mean before the game we spoke about obviously myself included and having a lot more shots on target etc and getting more shots off whenever the opportunity came we didn't really get that opportunity a lot of the first half we were playing into brian and reese rather than getting the center backs turned so we didn't really get close enough and we can't always knock them for when it's coming back all the time because there was times where they're winning the first and we're not picking up on the seconds in and around it. So it was an all-round performance from everyone, like myself included. I don't think I was good enough on the ball, to be fair. Um, picking up in the right areas, the lot dropped left and right of me, etc. So we all could have done better. We just weren't compact enough if I was, if was, from my point of view anyway. No, fair enough. Well, what did the boss say in, in the huddle at the end then? Because as we said earlier, frustrating would be the optimum word. But did he have any positive vibes from it at all? Or? Um, to be fair, I missed half of the huddle because I was warming down opposite, on the other side by myself. Uh, the, the part I caught from it, it was mainly, like I said, a disappointment because of where we've been over the last few weeks. That's what, that's what he pretty much ended it with. I mean, we kind of need to rediscover that form because it's a massive game against Sutton Common Rovers next week now, isn't it? They're just behind us on one point. Sum up what the mood in the in the camp is for that game going forward. Um, I mean, the dressing room, if you heard it before the game today, you'll understand the sort of uh, team that we've got here, the squad that we've got in the change room and that it's always upbeat, it's always lively. We're always sort of positive, even even where we're fighting this relegation, etc. Next week, that game, not to say that it wasn't important anyway, but losing today makes it even bigger. It makes it even bigger. And you've got the personal ones where you've got ex-players that used to play for SCR, etc. So... It'll be massive to obviously get the three points there. Wait, is that yourself or? Yeah, myself. You got others. Uh, not to name any names, Goody, but yeah, it's massive. I mean, we need the points more than anything. So, more than def more than definitely, we want to go there and get the three points. Because you know, on on paper, obviously, the next three games: Sutton Common Rovers, Leatherheads, and Bedfont, teams that are in and around us. If we can maybe pick up two or maybe even three wins, because the next three games after that are, are huge against teams right at the top of the table, isn't it? Yeah. Um. The next three point. The next three games. Obviously, we set ourselves a target over the four games, including today. Today is obviously a big disappointment when we start on three points. So for me, it's pretty much go to the next three and get nine points, basically. We get nine points, throw us closer to, I think it's Leverhead that we need to be catching, etc. And then we go into the rest of the game of the season against top teams where we can go there a bit more relaxed. But we know when we play the top teams, we're a bit more front-footed. Uh, up against it and we know obviously we're comfortable in them games it's the scrappy games that we need to obviously head down gritty and work hard Adam, thanks very much mate no problem, we're still fully that. behind you mate yeah, yeah no worries no that's alright thank you <laughs>